Hi, I'm Cindy McGee, and you're watching Polymer Clay TV. Today's veneer is inspired by this coppery animal print from a top I saw online. The first step was to condition and roll some Ecru Primo Sculpey to a setting 3 on the clay machine. To more closely mimic the background in the fabric, I'm going to add some pan pastels. First, I'm going to use some raw umber tint, and I'm just going to use the sponge and apply a small amount of it over the surface of the clay sheet. Next, I did the same thing with some pearlescent red pan pastel. Next, I added a touch of copper pan pastel. For most of the patterns, I'm using this Wild Thing silkscreen from createalong.com. I'm going to place it orange side down onto the clay sheet. I like to give it a little rub with my roller just to make sure it's going to stay put. And then I'm going to silk screen using some black DecoArt Americana multi-surface satin. I like this paint. It's a little bit thicker. It works well. First I'm going to do the zebra print and I'm going to do it two or three times. Wash your silk screen immediately and let that layer of paint dry. Okay, next I'm moving on to this sort of reptile skin pattern and the same procedure with the same black paint. Next, I repeated with the leopard print and the black paint. As I'm trying to mimic the patterns in that original fabric, this next one I'm going to just sort of hand brush. I'm using some red iron oxide pan pastel and a brush and just making some sort of irregular jagged lines. I'm also going to use this same pan pastel to fill in some of the sections on that reptile skin. Then I came back with that black paint and again just made some jagged lines around the rust colored lines. I also wanted a bit of a darker zebra print or tiger print so I'm going to apply some of that red oxide over the base here, just any section of that sheet that's not been screened yet and then silk screen over it with that same zebra slash tiger stripe and the black paint. That just gives us a whole nother shade to work with. To add the lighter two-toned effect to the leopard print, I'm using some Americana paint. This is eggshell. You just want sort of a khaki shade. And I'm going to silk screen right over the black leopard print just offset it a touch. It won't match up completely and I don't want it to. I just want to add another touch of color over the surface. All right, everything is dry now and it's time to proceed. I'm going to tear this veneer into jagged irregular pieces in all different sizes. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just tear it into small pieces. Once I got it all torn up, I decided I wanted to add a touch more of that red iron oxide to the surface of some of them, just again to add some variation in color. The next step is to apply all of those different pieces over a piece of base clay. This was just more of the Ecru that I rolled to a setting 3, and I'm going to totally randomly apply the different patterns and some of the blank sections and let it overlap a little bit. You want to completely cover the surface.
Once the surface is completely covered, place some plastic wrap over the veneer and roll it with your roller. You just want to make sure that those edges are laying down before we run it through the clay machine for the next step. Now you could use it this way and not proceed with the next step, but because I was trying to mimic the original fabric, I decided to go through the clay machine and sort of stretch it a bit. I did cut it in half just so it would be a little easier to work with. And I'm going to roll it through the clay machine and you can see what happens. That sort of tightly knit pattern stretches out in a totally random fashion and really does mimic that original fabric a little more closely. I rolled it on a setting 4 on my machine. I rolled that second half through and then it's ready to use. You can make polymer trading coins or unique jewelry or cover something with your veneer. There's lots of different options. I decided to make some different jewelry pieces with my veneer and I'm just going to let you watch some of the process that I did to do that. I'm using some black clay and the Bargello texture sheet from Create Along and the tribal shell cutters for the first pendant. For the second pendant, I'm using the same black clay that I textured with that Bargello sheet and the round cutter with the hole in the center. This cutter is also a create-along cutter. I did decide to make one more pendant and I used the largest tribal shell cutter and more black textured clay and the same wooden bead as an accent. For more inspiration, join our Polymer Clay Tribe Facebook page. Over 17,000 members sharing projects every day. For lots more creative polymer clay ideas, visit the Polymer Clay TV blog.